But I want to begin today my opening comments to you by really genuinely thanking all the volunteers, not just for the time that you donate to our communities, but the fact that you work tirelessly making our province a better place to live, but also to uh, those that have organized this luncheon. It is growing. Uh, there's no doubt, Penny, 41 years, there's been a lot of lunches, but yet it's really a celebration of the work that our volunteers are doing as we prepare for April the 7th to the 13th, which will be a busy week in Newfoundland and Labrador. That, of course, is Volunteer Week 2019. It's been mentioned already in some reference given to the number of people that we have in our province that actually are active volunteers. 200,000 people in our province are actively volunteering, making their province and their communities a better place to live. So that's nearly half our population. And they tell me that on average those volunteers are putting in about 151 hours a year. And has been mentioned by the LG already. When you think about the impact that is having on our communities, but it's really about the passion that you're bringing to the work that you're doing. Just unselfishly giving up your time. I was listening to a, I heard a little comment that was made by one of our best volunteers that we see in the province and she had a recognition of seniors distinction award last year and she told a story that her seven-year-old granddaughter got so used to her grandmother going to meetings that she decided at seven years old to actually start going with her grandmother to those meetings and she is now one of the best volunteers that we have in our province so you see what happens as you inspire it you pass it on to the next generation so these are incredible statistics that I just mentioned, but these are real numbers about real people that are making a difference in our province. There's no doubt that the volunteer efforts that we have throughout our province is strengthening our communities. Now many of you know that there's also a personal reward as you volunteer as well. We always feel good when others are feeling better as a result of the work that you're doing. And I know that life is pretty busy for everyone in this room. But it's often this little pat on the back, those simple acts of kindness, those words when someone really needs to hear just something as a little thank you. Even what I do, I appreciate it. If I'm walking through a, a near port or if I'm into a grocery store or wherever it is, when someone will walk up and say, thank you for the work that you do. It doesn't cost anything, but you do it with a smile and no matter who you are, the person will feel better when you do that. This has been a cold few days throughout our province. And I've got a chance to go to a few communities over recent days and people are coming up and telling me about how neighbors have come over and helped seniors with, with a wood stove or helped seniors making sure they got to appointments, just making sure that their neighbors were safe, just sitting and have a cup of tea because it wasn't easy for a lot of people to get out. These are the little simple things that volunteers are doing in our community. Checking on your neighbors is always a good idea. Volunteers in our communities are, represent what is, I say, a culture of giving in Newfoundland and Labrador. And you do it. You do it with great pride. So it is fitting, as has been mentioned already, that the volunteer factor, lifting communities, that's the national theme, but it's very fitting for Newfoundland and Labrador. Because no matter where you go, every volunteer, they're lifting our communities, they're lifting our spirits, and they're giving us a sense of well-being. So when I look around the room and I see volunteers, they volunteer for many different things. It could be organizing a luncheon, it could be organizing a sporting event, it could be organizing just a community event, a festival. These volunteering efforts go on throughout the year. Yesterday, I dropped by to uh, visit a group and it was a newcomer, a new Canadian, a, that came to the, our province two years ago that I had met through the Association of New Canadians back in 2016. So I know some of you are starting to piece this story together now, aren't you? It was when some of the Syrian refugees came to our province. And I know this young woman that I met there two years ago, and she came up to me ye yesterday. She said, I met you two years ago. I couldn't speak English. Her English was so much better yesterday. We had a conversation. She talked about how great this province is and what volunteers in Newfoundland and Labrador has done for her. You're making a difference. As Penny said, it's about economic development that we have many of our volunteers involved with. It's about helping people with disabilities. I remember working with people with 
supportive employment that we had in our province. And I remember in a previous life having a young woman that came to work with us. She spent 16 years there. And her parents would tell me that every morning she'd get ready to come to work, she'd make sure that her uniform was crisp. But when she came to work, I can tell you, she inspired everybody on that team of employees that we had there. And those people that she connected and interacted with in her job were always so enthused and inspired simply because of the work that she was doing. But supporting her was a volunteer, making sure she was ready to go to work, making sure she was there on time. Never had to worry about time with her. She was there. But that is the difference that the volunteers are making in our province. And I often think about one of the challenges that we face in society today is how we deal with mental health, how we deal with addictions. And what we're seeing right now throughout our province is so many people who are sharing lived experiences that they have themselves as they realize that there's a time that they can intervene because they can share their lived experience and change the lives of others. And that is happening by many of the volunteers that we have in our province. I also know that in, throughout our province right now, we have many people that are doing things like Meals on Wheels programs, or people are discharged from hospital. They're coming home with not a lot of family in some cases. They're to support them. And it's the volunteers that actually step up and make sure that they have a meal provided for them throughout our province. It's people that are help preventing crime in Newfoundland and Labrador, making our province one of the safest places in this country to live. That's what you're doing. You're having an impact. So you're not just leaders, you're just not believers. People in this room are really doers. You are making the difference. So I just want to say thank you for the work that you're doing and recognizing the impact that you're having and the contribution that you are making to society. Penny mentioned one of the initiatives that we're working on and I realize to the way forward as we build a, bu a brighter future for Newfoundland and Labrador, as we've networked, put in sector work plans with the mining industry, with agriculture, aquaculture, technology, oil and gas, and so on. But it was also important to recognize the work that volunteers do in our province. Recognizing that it's a volunteer community, many of you work with nonprofits and so on, that you have a major role to play in economic development. And that is the reason why it's important to get a work plan developed, as Penny had mentioned. So we are changing. We're already seeing a difference. For the first time in six years, we're seeing employment in our province up for six straight months. It's the first time in six years we've seen this. We have more people employed in Newfoundland and Labrador in 2018 than we did in 2010. So it's making a difference. But we're doing that with partnerships with people like you in this room. And as Penny had just mentioned about putting in place, we first met, I think it was last March, Penny, when we came up with the idea of including these not-for-profits, those people that are, that are working with economic development throughout our province. So this partnership that we've been created, and yes, we want to cut through the foolishness and the, the red tape so we can actually get to work making a difference in the regions where you live. That is what this is all about. We put in place a very comprehensive engagement process so we've reached out so far to over 275 volunteers to get your input, to get your ideas. These are community sector employees. You've told us about the challenges that you face. We need to hear that. But you've also talked a lot about the opportunities that exist. Challenges, things like how you access information, how you access resources, about partnerships and networking in your communities. Attracting and retaining talent, realizing that there will be supports that will be required for, for training. The Saturday night before last, I attended a function where there was about 200 people in a small community. And that was in Jackson, Jackson's Arm, the district where I live. A lot of gray-haired people in there like me, I fit in okay. <laughs> but I also realized that people of all ages, it doesn't matter how old you are, just like the seven-year-old that I mentioned earlier that can play a role in volunteering in our community. So as we talk about the challenges, we heard the benefits. The benefits of those communities that you can actually change lives. So this is where we want to support and work with you. 
we, you talked to us over those engagement sessions about the endless possibilities that's associated with the collaboration on economic development. We talked about cultural experiences, and I don't have to tell people from Newfoundland and Labrador what the experience is no matter where you go, that indeed this province is a rare find, mainly because of the people, not just about the landscapes, but it's about the people that those visitors, visitors meet when they come to our province. They talked about social innovation. You talked about economic activity. How you actually knit a community together, as volunteers would come together, networking in various regions. And those of you that are involved in different not-for-profits, when you get that opportunity to network, those ideas are given the opportunity to blossom. So we're in the final stages, as, as Penny had just mentioned, about putting together this work plan. The steering committee will be meeting again this week, and I am really looking forward, Penny, to getting this work, play, getting this work plan in place so you can actually see real tangible benefits from your government, from the people that represent you, and the people that are working with, with Penny and others, to see the tangible benefits and that we can actually make a difference in your work life. So we've made a commitment to make it easier, to make available government supports. As an example, putting in place multi-year funding. Last year, we were able to do that with 22 community organizations within Newfoundland and Labrador. So 22 organizations were able to take part in a multi-year program. And it was just yesterday that one of those CEOs said to me, didn't realize how important multi-year funding was until February, <laughs> when I realized I didn't have to fill out some applications. So these are the kinds of things that we're able to do when we listen to people like you in the room and the experience that you've had. Now the, the LG mentioned the work of Penny and I want to say thank you too for her many years that she's been working with the Community Sector Council and the important work that it's doing across this province. Building the volunteer capacity but also making sure in a very active role getting the message of the important roles that you're playing. So I can assure you that we remain committed to supporting our community partners and community-based organizations like the Community Sector Council in Newfoundland and Labrador. You play a key role. So it was last April we announced the multi-year funding for your sector that was just over $266,000. That is what these partnerships are all about because we believe in the work that you're doing the sophistication that you have within your organizations. Because when we make a pre-commitment of funds out beyond the next year, we have to be accountable too. But it's the organizations and the groups that you have in place, the commitment that you make will make that happen. So as I finish up today, it's really about encouraging everyone to stay involved and to participate in Volunteer Week. Make sure you Take advantage of those networking opportunities that will exist. But also make sure for your busy people, but I know busy people, they want to be active as well. So there's always new and exciting new volunteer roles that you can take on. So for me, it's truly a honor for me to be here today. What I'm doing is joining some 200,000 strong Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, ready to celebrate on April the 7th to the 13th about lifting communities, doing a great job in our province, because we have so much to be proud of. Thank you very much. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for this opportunity.